Hello, welcome to IO Data Tutorials channel. In this video tutorial, I'll guide you through the process of creating a dashboard using Google Looker Studio. Dashboards are a great way to present crucial information to your organization. Throughout the tutorial, you'll discover how to build visually appealing and interactive charts, similar to the ones showcased here. Additionally, we'll explore various other aspects to broaden your knowledge. I'm thrilled to have you on this journey, and I'm eager to witness your progress. So, let's jump right in and start exploring the world of dashboard creation. We'll begin by investigating our data and connecting it to Looker Studio. Once we understand it well, we'll make a plan to create our dashboard. Then, we'll get creative and design a visually attractive dashboard with cool shapes and catchy titles. Finally, we'll use Looker Studio to make awesome charts that show important information. Let's dive in and start creating our impressive dashboard. Step 1, Data Investigation To begin, let's explore our dataset and gain a good understanding of its contents. We're specifically looking at order-related data, which comprises 9,994 rows and 21 columns. Within these columns, we have valuable information such as customer names, segments, states, sales and profit figures, and more. Now, let's move on to Google Looker Studio and connect a new data source to our report. I'll walk you through the steps. First, go to the Resources section where we can manage our data sources. Look for the option to manage the data sources and click on it. From there, select the option to add a new data source. You'll see a list of available data source types, and in our case, we'll choose Google Sheets. Great. Now, we can pick the dataset we want from Google Sheets and add it to our report. Just click on the Add button and we're done. Now that we have completed that, we can move on to the next step. Step 2. Establish a plan of action. Get ready for an exciting adventure as we dive into the world of Google Looker Studio to create a dynamic sales analysis dashboard for our fictional company. The dashboard will allow us to explore sales data across different regions, making it interactive and user-friendly. On the left side, we'll include key performance indicators such as sales, number of orders, number of customers, and number of states to provide a quick overview of the company's performance. Moving on to the main part of the dashboard, we'll add various charts like donut, line, and bar charts to offer valuable insights at a glance. The donut charts will help us analyze sales by segment and category, while the map chart will showcase sales data for each state. To delve deeper into the numbers, we'll also include tables below each chart to provide a more detailed view. Finally, we'll incorporate a line chart to track sales and profit trends over the years. With our plan in place, it's time to get down to business. Let's roll up our sleeves and start building this amazing dashboard together. Step 3, Dashboard Design Let's begin by adjusting the background of our dashboard. Initially, we will modify the background color. To accomplish this, let's navigate to the theme and layout settings. From there, let's proceed and customize the existing theme and select a suitable color. Let's select the desired color. Now that we completed that, we can move on to creating shapes. To add a shape, we can click on the Shapes option located in the toolbar on the right side of the screen. It is represented by a square icon. Simply click and drag on the canvas to draw the shape in the desired position and size. Let's modify the color. That's perfect. Now, to create the remaining shapes in our dashboard design, we can quickly duplicate the header shape. This allows us to easily replicate its style and properties across the other shapes we require, saving time and effort. Excellent. Now that we have completed that, we can move on to the next step. Step 4, Creating Titles. Now, let's add our titles. We'll click on the text option or the T icon to add text to the dashboard. After that, I would like also to change its font.
Let's modify the color. That is great. Now, let's start typing. That is fantastic. I'm gonna place it on desired location. After that, I'm gonna make this bold. That's perfect. Let's resize this a bit. Let me quickly create all other titles. Now, it's time to move on to the final step. Step 5, Creating Charts. Let's start with creating KPI cards. To create the KPI cards, follow these steps. First, click on the Add a Chart button. Next, select the scorecard option from the available element types. Perfect. Let's place the scorecard on the proper location. After that, we can modify the scorecard and configure its settings by specifying the field we would like to use. Now that we completed that, we can change style for this scorecard. Amazing. I would like also to change its font. That's perfect. Let's also modify this color. I'm gonna place it here. I will just duplicate this scorecard and change the metric for each of these cards. That is fantastic. Let's resize this a bit. Before we start creating our charts, let's first add filter to our dashboard. I will add drop-down list for the region. To do this, let's click on the add a control option and select the drop-down list as the filter type. I'm gonna place it here. Then, we'll populate the filter with the desired data. That is great. Let me resize this. Let's change font color and size for this region filter. Perfect. Now we can add line between filter and KPI cards. Before we proceed to next step, let me first quickly resize and rearrange those KPI cards. Great! We've successfully completed our filters and KPI cards. Now, it's time to begin creating charts for our dashboard. I'll guide you through the process of selecting the chart type. Let's first add a donut chart to our dashboard. To get started, simply click on the Add a Chart button. 
From the available options, select the donut chart type. Place it in your preferred location on the dashboard and adjust its size to fit your design. That is awesome! Now comes the exciting part, configuring the chart settings. Choose the appropriate fields for the dimension and metric. In this case, we want to showcase the sales for each segment. Let's make a few more adjustments to the chart to customize it according to our needs. Feel free to follow along and make these changes in your own dashboard as well. Now that we completed that, we will duplicate this donut chart. For second one, we will choose category and put that in the dimension box. That way we will be able to see total sales for each of these categories. Perfect. Next, let's insert tables below these donut chart in order to explain data in more details. To insert table we will first click on add a chart option, after that, we will choose desired table chart from available options. Perfect. Let's place it on our dashboard. Now we can select columns that our table will contain. Excellent, now let's modify style for this table. Let's also modify this color. Now that we completed that, we can duplicate this table and only change columns. But before that, let me first resize this table a bit. That is awesome! Let's select data for this table. Instead of segment column, we will choose category. Excellent! Let's resize this a bit. Now that we have completed the creation of this chart, let's move on to the next one in our dashboard. This time, we will insert line chart. To do that, click on add a chart option, and choose line chart. Perfect! Let's select data for our chart. Now that we completed that, we can modify style for this chart. Fantastic! Let's proceed with adding the final chart to our dashboard. We will insert map chart to visualize total sales by each city. To insert this chart, 
we will follow the same steps as before, first clicking on Add a Chart option, and then selecting the desired chart. Perfect, let's select data that we would like to see in our chart, it is City and Sales field. Now we can modify this visual, let's change these colors. Excellent. Next, I will remove legend. I will also need to resize this chart. That's perfect. We almost completed our job here. Only thing that is left to be done is to create table below this map chart. So let's do that now. Let's duplicate this, and place it in the desired location on the dashboard. Let me resize this. Now, let me select the desired data. With all the necessary steps completed, and all the elements added, we can confidently declare that our dashboard is now finished. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.